video, I'm going to show you how to account for the sale of a gift card or gift certificate. And I'm also going to show you how to account for when someone redeems a gift card or gift certificate. So here we are in QuickBooks. Uh, I'm going to go over here to bookkeeping to get to my transactions. And you can see that uh, I have one transaction for review here. So it looks like uh, George Weasley came in, he purchased $100 um, worth of a gift card, uh, maybe to give to his mom, Molly. Uh, so we are actually not going to record this as income, which is a bit counterintuitive. Um, we are going to record it as a liability. So even though cash came into our bank account, um, actually we still owe uh, products or services um, worth a hundred dollars. So that's how we have to record this until that gift card is redeemed and then we can actually record it as income or revenue. So uh, let's see here. We are going to um, create a new account for gift cards outstanding. So I'm going to scroll all the way up here to add new and I'm going to walk you through how to do this. So um, this is going to be the account type is going to be other current liabilities. It's not going to be long term because we don't expect this to last for more than 12 months. Um, so we're going to go to other current liabilities. The detail type, um, there's not really one that, you know, fits perfectly. Um, you know, they don't have a gift card outstanding liability account for us. Um, so we're just going to put it in other current liabilities. That'll do. And then the name you know we can just type that in there we don't necessarily need a description uh, we don't need to nest this under another account um, for reporting reasons um, we don't need to do that and then uh, we don't need a start date we can just save and close that so there it is, going into our liability account, loading up that liability account with $100. All right, let's confirm that. And now I'm going to show you, you know, what happens when Molly comes in and redeems that gift card. So we're going to go over here to the menu all the way up at the top and press New. Um, on the far right, we can do a journal entry. So uh, maybe we'll put this on the day the gift card was redeemed. And uh, we are going to take $100 out of uh, the account where we just put in that $100. And we are going to put that $100 into whatever it was spent on. So if it was spent on, uh, let's say, flowers, then we can put it into our floral revenue account. I'm just going to make sure that my debits and credits are right. So I'm going to Google something like, do liability accounts have a debit or credit balance. Liability accounts have a natural credit balance. Uh, so, so I am reducing that um, with a debit. So I have my debit reducing that liability account and I have my credit increasing my income account. Great. And uh, we can save that and we can see the result of our work on our balance sheet. So um, if we go to business overview, and then um, it's not the profit and loss where we see our liabilities, it's the balance sheet. And there is that gift card uh, slash certificate outstanding account. And if I click on it, you can see the two entries here. So there is George buying the gift card and then there is Molly redeeming the gift card. So that account has zero dollars in it saying that uh, we have no gift cards outstanding. Um, 
uh, and this is nice to see on a report because if your business has a lot of gift cards outstanding, that means that, you know, you could have a problem in a certain month where a lot of those customers come in, they redeem a lot of products or services, and then, you know, you're not actually getting that revenue in that month. You've gotten it before, but um, it might be diff difficult to manage cash flow uh, if you have to redeem a bunch of gift cards and offer a bunch of products and services um, in a future month. So uh, that's why it's good to keep track of. For more bookkeeping guidance, go to jumpstartinc.org slash bookkeeping. And if you want to get in touch with our team directly for one-on-one -on -one advising, fill the form out on that webpage. Thanks again for watching.